um, Saturday night. Can you see Jamie down there between all the shelves? Yes, they can see me. I'm sitting down. It's been a long day. It was shelving unit day. It's shelving unit day. What? Well, we got, like, everything has shelves. Oh, I'm like, what? We did not assemble shelving units today. You have me so confused. Uh. Let's get live. Chat pulled up here. So, how has your Saturday been? We've had a pretty full Saturday. It's Jamie's birthday today, so we've been going all day from this morning. True doing, story. Doing fun birthday things. Really, the whole week. We kind fun of birthday that. things? We finished a video. Then you edit said video. Yeah, we went and got ice cream, and that was pretty fun. I brought you breakfast in bed. Um, that was yeah. convenient. That was, yeah. Well, that, then I didn't have to leave the house. Like, I didn't have to, like, get dressed. I just ate my crepes and my bacon. It was really good. Truth is, she's a little under the weather, so it's been kind of low-key. Yeah, that is true. Um, I'm feeling a little better. I think I'm rallying, but I think tomorrow morning I'm going to wake myself. Yeah, it's better. always like that in the afternoon, you know? Everything gets cleared out, and you feel better, and then you sleep all night, and you wake up feeling awful in the morning. Yeah, my kids have all kind of been, like, intermittently under the weather, and I finally, which is weird because who usually gets sick first? Me. I haven't been sick all year. I guess I could stand up. Sorry, I finally, guys, I'm just lazy. I finally got, I finally got uh, used to being around the kids all the time. It used to be every time they went back to school, I would get horribly sick because they'd bring all the stuff home. Okay. What's wrong with it? That's weird. Oh. It's not weird. It's I fine. Need to go over here. Hold on. I got that. There we go. That's not going. All right. It's like all wonky. As long as they can hear, I don't care where you put it. Oh. All right. So stuff. We've oh, got some thrifting things. Here. Sound like a long sigh. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna tell him we went, we drove 45 minutes to get Thrifty's ice cream. Yes, we did. And I got my favorite flavor that I, as a child, grew up loving, and you got your favorite flavors, or a couple of them. Our kids had Thrifty's ice cream for the first time, um, and we purchased how many half gallons? So. We brought nice chests, like we were prepared for that because it's 45 minutes away. It's up in Park City, it's a Rite Aid that sells Thrifty's ice cream. That is the only one we found that we know of here in Utah, at least that's within driving distance. So we ran up there, we got some ice cream, but they sell it by the half gallon, so we stocked up and got 10, because who knows when we're going back up there. That sounds like a lot, but remember there's seven people that live in our house. Yeah, basically everybody got a half gallon plus a couple extra. Plus a couple extra, and we like to have company. Yeah. When people find out you have Thrifty's ice cream, people start coming out of the woodwork and wanting to come over and have ice cream. So that was like my one thing. That's like, what do you want to do for your birthday? I'm like, I would like to go to Park City and have Thrifty's ice cream. And because he's the best, he did that. And if you watch till the end of this live, I will show you what he bought me for my birthday. He did good. Ooh, I didn't make anything, but I did some serious hunting and found her something she'd been wanting for a while. I've been wanting for a while, so long, and I couldn't find it. I couldn't think of what the heck he bought me. And he kept saying, you want me to give it to you early? I'm like, no, let's wait. So this morning, I wasn't even out of bed. He's like, you're awake. Let me give you your present. He was so excited. I don't really believe in like waiting for the date. You know, I could do Christmas right now and be totally good with it as far as gift giving goes, so. I know, I knew that, so I was like, I'm gonna be obnoxious and make you wait. <laughs> all right, let's show them all the things. All right, we're gonna tell you what we got and what we're gonna do with it if we're doing anything to it and then the price of what we're gonna sell it for. I'm gonna look at comments. Oh, so it seems like the mics aren't working. Okay. Hmm, sorry. I don't, um, I don't know. Like they're on, the lights are on. Deb, can you make sure that the, it's all plugged in? It's all plugged in. Can you hear me now? Hey, look, we got the little light. No, that's lots of people. Hmm, I don't know. Hold on. We're gonna see if they, maybe, that's maybe if plugged just, in. That's all plugged in. It's all turned on. I don't know. Um, B frequency? Yeah. I'm no. on C. No, you're on D. I'm on D. Well, we're gonna go with it while she figures that out. D? Hopefully you can hear us. Here, just move it closer. The phone is still picking us up. Whoa! That was, it seems like $300 wasted on modeling mic mics. <laughs> Because <laughs> it, it hasn't helped. Like, I haven't noticed that it's helped. All right, so we've got this frame, and this is not normally something we go for. It's got these three little... All right, Deb, I'm just going to... Here. All right, guys, is that better? So it's got these three little uh, round holes, oval holes in it, and this was normally marked at some shop for 40 bucks. I don't know if that'll focus on that. It's pretty small. But we got it for two at the thrift store. It looks like it's been sitting in someone's garage. It's dusty like it's been in my garage. But what I'm going to do is I will take this backer out 
will knock these ovals out because I don't know of many people. I mean, maybe some people do. There's but a $40 price tag on the back of that. Yeah. Somebody was aiming high. <laughs> Somebody was aiming high. At my shop, this is maybe a $15 bill because it's kind of small. Yeah, so we'll knock that frame out. It'll just take a quick couple taps with a hammer. It's just stapled in from the back. And this whole center section will come out. And then we'll have all this really cool detail on here and just paint out. It's, it looks like it's been brushed one time with some yellow. We'll, we'll fix that up. Some yellowy white. All right. We got one of those tin shelves. You know how we like. $4. It's got a little bit of damage up here in the corner. Not yeah, super that. worried about that. What I'm going to do is I will, uh, I'll just bond on that. So. And then, so that... We sell those for anywhere from like fifteen to eighteen dollars, and then so this we all, we walked by it two times, and then we decided to get it. It's the art on there isn't necessarily what we would go for, but we're thinking we'll get a stencil, we'll paint this, we'll either sand this off or paint it, and then we'll get a stencil to put it right on here. It's just got like a little shelving unit, just probably sits on top of a desk or something. And then we will, it was $5. It's not very big, you know, you can see it right here by me. So $5, and then what we'll do, what do you think on this, 19 once we paint it and stencil it? Uh, I don't know. Did you go in the... I did listen. Did okay, you go run in the other room? I can hear you. It's a little tinny sounding, but it's as good as we got tonight. It's always tinny so. sounding because we got this big roof. Yeah, it's, but there's like... But I can totally hear you. I just had to turn the sound all the way up on my phone. So. All right, we're gonna go with it. Sorry, guys. So we got some fun books. You These want me were. To show the books, and then you go grab the dead cat. I don't know that it's gonna help. I'll try. We'll try. Okay. <laughs> we got these books. If you can't hear us, <laughs> I'm sorry. The sound is awful too. I did unplug our microphones. I think I'm about ready to turn those back to Amazon. Thanks, Odelia. And this one is funny. It's Ideal Marriage. And our books all sell for like five bucks. Um, and so this one doesn't look super old, but actually, there's a fly. It is, let's see. Originally, it was $7.50. And... Ideal marriage. It's physiology and technique. <laughs> Anyways, so this one is fun. Then we got Jesus the Christ, which is like a religious book, but they do pretty well here in Utah. Zeb's going to plug in the other mic. Um, and then from the crossroads. I, like, I just like the pattern on this one. All right. We're going to try one thing. I'm using ears for it. Oh, thanks, Tommy. Happy birthday. It's been fun. All right, two seconds, and Zeb's going to plug in that dead cat, and we're going to see. Oh, happy birthday weekend. It's been like birthday week. We've been eating all weekend. All right, while he's doing that, here's the next thing. This was $1.99. It's already super cute. It's missing a couple screws. We're going to add some screws. Yeah, we normally don't do anything to the books. People use them as decor, and some people collect old books. All right, so we plugged in the dead cat. Tell me if the sound is better. Is the sound better? Tell me now. The dead cat's just the fluffy thing on there. Sorry, the dead cat is the mic that's with the fluffy thing. So it's not really a dead cat. It's just called a dead cat. It's still not good. Well, it must be YouTube then. We'll blame YouTube on YouTube. the live videos. Yeah. Next time we'll try from Jamie's phone, except for her phone's never charged. All right, well, we're going to finish it anyways, because we love you. And hopefully you don't mind the sound. The humming. It'll be like one of those contests, like how how long can you listen to the humming? <laughs> okay. So that was. Did you tell them about the that half off stickers? Oh, we sold them half off though. Okay. So this is a dollar ninety nine. We're gonna add a couple extra screws. I won't do anything to it, and this is probably like eight ninety five, nine ninety five all day long. Yeah. Okay. And it's already got the good chippy wood. I don't have to make it. Yeah, I think somebody else put it together. I got this basket. It was part of the half off Goodwill, so that was the regular price. You guys are seeing it. I can't read it. $2.99. And it was $1.50 because it was half off. Or is that, yeah, it's the blue tag. 
I like the like the way it's set up. I don't necessarily like the color, so this is going to get painted. Um, I try not to buy too many baskets, but if they're unique, I'll pick them up because they they. Um, a lot of them are made out of bamboo. Yeah. Oh, let's see. I stopped. I shopped half off at Goodwill today too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? <laughs> oh, my comments are in my pocket, so I don't have to do that. All right, so this was a shelf, also something we passed on. I got it because it's got these three little drawers down here. Les said that was ugly. Les, I thought we were friends. <laughs> Not every, we can't please everybody every day. True. So this was three bucks. I'm going to put knobs on it. It just didn't have knobs on, on this here. Right. Struggling with lighting and sound. It's good. But so... That's got that fun little back. It's already got hooks on it, so we'll hang that somewhere. It'll it'll look fun once we get it painted. It I think a, a new paint sanded. job. It's got some grip. Somebody spray painted this with a rattle can, and they didn't do it especially good. And it used to have something right here. I don't know what that was there. Maybe an applique or something, or like a clock, a small tiny little clock. But it doesn't go all the way through, so I don't know what it was for. I don't know. Well, out, speaking of appliques. Oh. So we just got half of our orders uh, we got two orders coming in one is the molding putty that you use to make the appliques and two is the resin so when we get both things in we'll get them up on our website and we are going to do the diy we've been promising for months we are so excited i think once you guys start uh, making your own molds you're going to be like molding everything that doesn't move and if you have a retail store they actually sell really well the problem is we sold too many of them and we couldn't even keep up i couldn't make them and by the time i You're was like done factory. spending hours and hours making them it just i needed to do other things that made more money essentially so i we had to drop them off the website but if you are somebody who can't do some of the big builds or whatever you can make appliques while you watch tv oh yeah it was you easy. could teach your kids to do it so we are so excited to teach you guys how to make your own molds and appliques and i did order every single mold that iod makes so as soon as they get them in stock and ship them to me we'll have those on the website too so i'm really excited we came home today and it was on the porch so Ooh, this one's cute this one was from goodwill it was a dollar 99 a little yeah. bit of, I don't know, is that silver? A lot of bit of tarnished silver. I don't know, it's like, <laughs> it's like tin. So it said, oh, child labor. <laughs> <laughs> we had our teenager doing it for a while. He definitely gets paid. Yeah. <laughs> um, kids as in like kids that would normally have a job anyway. Not small children. <laughs> it's, it's actually, you have to be precise. So this was $1.99 and we'd sell this for 10 it's pretty big. I mean, you can see like, oops, sorry. Is your face okay? Yeah, I'm right. Like next to my face, like you can see. It, may, it doesn't look as big next to your face because your face is bigger than mine. Big. It's like two of Jamie's faces. So this was the half off sticker, $4.99. So we paid $2.50 for it. It's pewter. And it's got this fun kind of fall harvest design on the bowl. It's awesome. It would look really it's... cute with apples in it on a dining table. It's pretty hefty. Also, if somebody comes to rob you, I, you could knock somebody out with this. It is super heavy. I love pewter for that reason. I think originally, like, if you were going to buy this in a store, how much do you think it would cost? Oh, probably like 45 50 bucks. Yeah, we'll sell it for like twelve ninety five. <laughs> and another basket offering. It was $3 half off with the blue tag. So this one, why did you get this one? What, what called to you on this? Okay, it's square, right? And it's low. So it is so good for fall foliage oh. or a bunch of apples staged in it. It actually says oatmeal goodness bread on the top. So oh, for bread. Let's put some bread in We're going to paint this, but um, I'm going to put either foliage or I'll put a bunch of apples and take a picture. But I just thought this was like the perfect fall basket. And it's, it's it would be cute. Well, maybe not on the wall because it has a handle. But it would be cute <laughs> on it like a dining table or a coffee table. I bought it from the low side. I just need you to put lots of home cooked bread in there. Yeah, I'll get right on making you some bread. I know how, and I did for a long time, but I'm over it. So this was 99 cents, and it's just a glass, little glass jar. It was half off. It was 50 cents. 50 cents by the time we got done. And if you make a donation to Goodwill, they give you a 20% off coupon. So everything was that was blue to let tag was 50% off, and then we got 20% off of our whole yeah, because we took a big old huge bag, garbage bag of clothes I cleaned and out the stuff closet. out of the linen closet. Yeah. The thing is, though, like, 
they didn't have a lot of stuff. So we, we didn't buy it as much as I wanted to. Yeah. All right, so this is a little tin. And I'm pretty sure I can guess why Jamie picked this one up. It had the card catalog on there. It was $1.50. It's and I'm, I'm almost certain that this was the whole reason she bought it. Absolutely, and it was $1.50. And it's a yellow, weird mustard color, which is fine if you like mustard. And I do on certain things. It's splattered. But this is going to get painted. How, like, much, this how much would you sell it for? $8.95. No, it's pretty small. That's more like a $7.95 tin. <laughs> But it'll take me, once I like line it up to spray it, it'll literally take me like 50 seconds to paint and two seconds to spray it, so. You were tapping me like you wanted to say yeah, something. Yeah, somebody said it's a pie basket. You could totally fit a pie in this basket. That is best Ooh. language. I love pie. Now you're going to want me to make pie. Oh, that must have been where the Taco Bell fell well, on me totally in the car. there's totally ice cream on me from Ricky's. <laughs> All right, so we got a $1.50 basket. Probably going to take this little wire wrap off of here it's weird it just it just doesn't go with it we don't i mean it's comfy to hold but this isn't heavy enough to keep me to hold i don't know maybe like throw eggs or something in there if you got fresh eggs chickens uh fresh eggs from your chickens if you don't uh if you wash them off with the right things will last without being in the fridge for a long time i'll just get closer <laughs> Oh yeah, this would be so cute with eggs. We, do you guys want to see my egg basket? My chickens are lazy. There's no eggs in it, but I'll show you. They're molting right now. It's almost getting winter. They're not really laying. This is my egg basket. Normally it has really pretty colored eggs, but um, it's empty because my chickens are lazy. Either that or the kids aren't collecting them. We have been letting them free range the backyard, so chances are they could just be hidden somewhere because they like to hide them. Me. All right, here's another thing I'm removing the handles on. Handles are coming off of this. It'll just be a plain basket. The handles are got like this weird wrapped wire. Like this a coil. It looks like an auto coil. Yeah, like it, it looks like it's rubber, but it's it's I don't know. It's plastic. That's what it is. So we're gonna get we're gonna ditch the handles on this. It was four ninety nine, so two fifty because it had the blue tag at Goodwill. Les says cute. So she likes that one. She likes that one. Thank you. <laughs> All right, um, somebody said they picked up a red basket like that, and then Chalk Junkie says, thanks for the motivation. She opened her shop this weekend and Ooh, sold awesome. tons. Good that's, job. Man, that's always great when you open and then sell. Sometimes, you know, you always want it to good, do good, and then you have, like, a bad week, and you're like, oh, what am I doing wrong? So that's awesome that you sold a bunch of stuff. So whenever we can find fun-shaped cutting boards, we snag them. I am. I might, uh, I might make a template of this and throw these on the website. I don't know. I, I don't know if I absolutely love this style, but it's got like this cool it's cute. hook to We're gonna have, We already have the one pig cutting board on the website, and then we could copy this one. We could have like Piggy A and Piggy B. <laughs> all right. So we, is that all of it? No, nope, we have more stuff over here. Oh. This is another cutting board waiting for Zeb to make more tray feet. We've been shipping out tray feet like crazy from our website, and Zeb hasn't been making me any. That always happens. But guess what? We did buy a CNC machine. Yeah, we got that. It's on its way. You know, I say it's on its way. They said it had a four to six week lead time. I'm behind so many other orders that they're having to build the machine. They don't have them in stock. So once we get it, I've already got the software. I had him send me out the software so I can get good at using that. He made a box on the software. <laughs> yeah, I can draw a box in 3D now. Um. <laughs> so the CNC machine, if you don't know what that is, Zeb can design corbels, candlesticks, feet, whatever, and then put it on there, and then it will like cut it and do it for him. So we'll be able to produce a ton more designs. Well, like those wood letters that you see cut out that are all scrolled and cursive yeah, we can and do that fun. Too. That, those are all done on a CNC machine. So We have lots of ideas. Hopefully we can figure out how to use this machine. It was a little bit spendy. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, but it's, it'll be worth it. it it's uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a bunch of cool stuff, and it'll make, make it so I don't have to be like hours and hours in the shop. Jamie W. said she got her first pay from her boots, so she's going to go shopping. Nice. Woo, woo. I'm doing a little dance for your boot sales. All right, so did you show them this or talk about this? Yeah. Watch oh. out. Ah. Okay, so this was handcrafted by, by Chip. We'll You're going to have to Chip. lift it up so they can see the whole thing. So here's the whole thing. This also is designed to hang on a wall, but... 
got real beadboard in the yeah, back. Yeah, this is tongue and groove beadboard in the back here. And these drawers are not, or these uh, doors here are not in fantastic shape. And the hearts don't necessarily appeal to everyone. The they hardware cloth in here is cool. It's kind of like that smaller pie safe type well, hardware cloth. Else. But we're going to go ahead and take this off and then probably ditch this little weird cutout too. You could cut a, a rectangle from the hardware cloth. Yeah, I could cut the square out. Because the, the hardware cloth is slick. So yeah. if you could take off the hardware cloth and say, I think it's more work than Yeah, that sounds like a lot of effort. All right, we're just going to remove the doors. This was $12. I yeah. mean, how, how much are we going to Probably get? like 45 because it is huge. It is super big. And this is weird. It's weird. So this is going. Like, that's got to go. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, people I, love these. Especially yeah. people that have collections. Lift it up so you can see the bottom. I did. Oh, okay. I missed that. So that's what the bottom looks like. It'll be cool painted up. That beadboard looks really good, white and distressed. It really makes all the details pop on it. Doors make it special, true, but nobody buys hearts. Oh, do you guys see our do you guys see our sink? Do you know what's under those towels? Dirty dishes, because it's my birthday and I have not been cleaning the house. And when mom doesn't clean the house, nobody cleans the house. Alright, so you guys have already seen this. I'm going to paint it because otherwise I'm never going to get around to it. It's kind of a raw wood, so I'm going to brush it. If I were to spray this, it would soak up a ton of paint because the spray, when you spray it, goes on a lot thinner. So I'm going to brush it. And I'm using the DIY in beadboard. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now while we're still live because I have the time. And while you do that, I will go get my birthday present. Who wants to see oh, my birthday yeah. present? Actually, it's two birthday presents. And you might not, you might look at them and be like, why are you so excited? But trust me, once I get them all staged up and photograph them, everybody's going to want them. Alright, I'm going to angle this down here just a little and move it back. Alright, you guys ready? So these are actual vintage, not antique because there's plastic on them, vintage seltzer bottles. Aren't they cool? I love old vintage and the glass is like really heavy and has bubbles in it. They need to be cleaned up. But they're really, really cute. And Zeb worked so hard to find these. <laughs> because I've been looking online. for months and haven't been able to find them. Yeah, you can't find them online. Like, they're either in, well, if you're in Europe, I'm down here. If you're in Hungary, they got these for days. In fact, I was doing some research, and Hungary has, like, amazing antiques. So go visit there. But, yeah, so Zeb had to call and find um a store that had these and then the store itself was like i don't even know what those are so he had to go around this huge furniture store called rc willie which is not even an antique store they sell new furniture and he found one broken and he was able to fix it and then he found the other one and the broken one he got half off jimmy wanted to dry brush but i'm what are you doing it, it can't be done so i'm going to paint it and then i'll bring that all back with you a dry brush it, you want me, you want it wasn't going it wasn't going well don't take my brush Alright, we'll see. We'll post this on community and then you guys can let us know if you like how Zeb did it. So Anyways, I'm going to go all white and then I will bring the color back. I'll either wipe it off or distress it off. We'll get these back so black weird. letters back. You, I could dry brush this in three seconds. Do you want me to show you? It's because the letters, like it wasn't going no, good. Just, just, just please. It's my birthday. Ooh, it's my birthday. Hey, give okay. me the payback. I just, let me have the brush real quick. No, I've already done it. So I just want to see if it. I can. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Ooh. Oh, you broke it. This was the one that was already broken. I, I got one half off because it was you already broken. I did super glue that. I did super Well, apparently it wasn't Jamie proof. Well, so this is all going to get brushed, and then I'm going to heavily distress it and bring this all back. Oh, by the way, these letters, CNC cuts, or these numbers, numbers. They're not letters, they're numbers. Oh, they have them in Canada. Hey, you guys. I have a mission for you. I really want blue and green seltzer bottles for my seltzer bottle collection. So if you find some and you know they ship, PM me on Facebook. That would be great. Can I see that just for like two seconds? I just want to see. Cause, whoa. I'm sure you could have dry brushed it. I was dry brushing it, but I was not liking the way it looked. There. Nope, I'm going white. <laughs> 
gosh, it looks amazing. And you can like wet the stress. Well, it's it. already dry brushed a little bit. I'm going <laughs> white with the whole thing and then we'll bring it all back. Oh my gosh, this is your baby. Well, I don't, I picked What happens pot. if your babies don't look good? They end up in the trash. No, they don't, I don't go <laughs> in the trash. They just don't go in the shop. It's all right. <laughs> no fighting in front of Odelia. <laughs> <laughs> this is our normal life. You guys, I don't know if you know this. This is, this is how we argue. Zeb and I have been married for 17 years, and we have been together for 19 years. So we were just kids when we met, and so sometimes we act like kids. Because, you know, congratulations. You are doing a really good job. How much caffeine have I had today? <laughs> None. I mean, I take Thrive, which has, like, natural caffeine but i don't drink soda this is what jamie looks like when she doesn't have to work all day yeah. when she's not exhausted by the end of the day this is normal <laughs> jamie it's her birthday it's okay <laughs> you guys are funny you know what i got sung to for the first time today if you have a chance you can go to the debbie's design diary page she went live and all the ladies sang to me and it was the first time i've been sung to all day they sang me happy birthday Happy birthday. Um, to you. Odelia. <laughs> um, so let's we, ask if you're going to make hands. It actually has hands. So it has hands. We had to go get a new mechanism, which I got at Hobby Lobby. It was, I think the mechanism itself was more than we paid, about as the same as we paid for the clock. But it was the big oversized one, because if you don't get the big mechanism to turn those larger hands, then it doesn't work out well. Like your, your the little gears in there will wear out quick. My angel plaque hasn't sold. Thanks for bringing it up. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the shop has actually been unusually slow this last week, so um, I I don't doubt that it will sell. We have a market coming up next Saturday. It's our last market of the season until the end of spring next year. We usually our first markets in May, and our last markets in September. And I am taking bets that that angel is going to sell. And I'll let you guys know next Saturday if it did or didn't sell. So, you never know. So on Harrington's room, the, the teen room that we're doing, if you guys have seen that video, about 2,000 of you have. Um, we put that up earlier today. Um, and a lot of you are weighing in on the live edge. It's going to be super fun. It's completely different than what Jamie thought it was going to be when I described it to her. Well, it's going to be on the inside. So the edge is actually going to be neat, like the edge of the desk, but the live edge is going to be flipped inside. So I yeah. like it. It's going to be more of like a, uh, without giving too much away, it's going to be uh, opposing live edges down the center. The huge chicken is finished and in the shop. If you look on Instagram, you can see a picture of it painted white. If you scroll back, I don't know, eight or so posts on Instagram, it's in there. Or Facebook, I think it's there too. Back to school week. So what our back to school was a few weeks ago, but what I've seen a trend is people will shop as soon as their kids go back to school. And a few weeks later, when those credit card receipts start rolling in, they don't shop for like two weeks because it's like shock to their system how much money they actually spent. And then once that wears off, then fall is crazy all the way up to winter through Christmas. And then yeah. January is a little lull. January but. usually is like I get to sleep in, I catch up on uh, like anything I wanted to read. <laughs> yeah, we save our money from the fall and the winter. But you know what else? Is January is all about organizing. So if yeah. you can cash in on organizing in January and help people get that, like buy things that help organize things, you'll sell them like crazy. And do a lot of um, DIY classes in January and February because a lot of people have New Year's resolutions to learn how to do something new. Yep. So that's a good way. Just, you know, if you're into furniture flipping or in the world of DIY, something to put in your well house. Um, Les said her son just moved to Maui. Our, that sounds tough. That is. That's a long ways away. Are you gonna? Are you already planning to go visit him? Did he? Uh, did he avoid the storm that was recently blowing through there, that area? Hopefully. Oh yeah. No. Well, the storm wasn't as bad as they thought it was gonna be. Yeah, but still. We have yeah. good friends of ours that live in um, Oahu and my Lai. cousin lives there. Yeah, Lai, Lai, Lai. Lai. I can't ever pronounce first time, that. I think that's how you say it. Okay. Let's see. I have two of those angels. I painted them silver metallic and they look pretty and I will line with a black velvet. 
black wow. velvet would be very pretty. The red velvet was not so much, but it looked better white. And it's funny because I painted that velvet white, and when I sealed it, it was rock hard, just like the rest of the... I think this might be this brush's last paint job. We've been selling Paint Pixie brushes for a year now, and I'm pretty sure that this was one of the first brushes we ever got. It's, I just dug it out of our brush collection, and this thing is having a tough day. Disclaimer, <laughs> like if you take care of your brushes, they won't look like that after a year. But we get busy, and then we're like, oh, that's been had paint on it for two weeks in a baggie, and then it's kind of special. <laughs> well, let's be honest. I mean, you can tell by the handle how well it's been washed. That handle is normally Poor worse. Poor paintbrush needs a haircut. True story. And it's probably painted, I don't know, 100 pieces or at more. Least. But guess what? We can downy dunk it. We can haircut it. And at the very least, it'd be good for dry brushing if you knew what that was. I do know what that is. I didn't <laughs> want to do it. <laughs> I started and I'm like, yeah, I don't like that. So I went for the all white. Les said it looks like her hair. I love you, Les. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, why do you use chalk paint and milk paint on one piece of furniture and why? Um, usually if I'm using both on a piece, it's because I want chalk paint underneath. And then I do the chippy milk paint over the top. Or if it's white and I don't want to paint like four coats of milk paint, I'll paint DIY underneath it with the milk paint over the top and it'll still get pretty chippy and it covers better. And Jamie says she got little black dress today and painted a metal hutch. Awesome. Cute. You know, I actually looked for like a metal drawer system. I'm wanting to get a metal drawer system for the garage that I can hang on the wall somehow and paint it or whatever, but have not been finding what I want exactly. So I'm gonna keep thrifting, we'll find it. We thrift enough, we should find everything. Conda says, this, what is this? This is a clock that he's painting. It, and somebody else asked, what's red? Um, if you watch, was it last week? Last week's live video, we found a cherub with red velvet. It was straight out of like, Kathy Vegas situation. And uh, we, he, I painted it white this week and it's really cute now. How about painting the numbers gun mount? I actually, if he just wet distresses them, the black will come back. So I don't really think he needs to paint So them. I'm probably, so when I go to finish this, I'll post a picture tomorrow. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning early or else it won't get done and it'll sit in the garage for another three weeks. But, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with the 220 grit with the orbital and do a pretty heavy distress. And then I probably, if I avoid the letters, I might just wet distress those back. I'm probably gonna try one or two to see how it distresses with the sander. And then if it doesn't look like I want it to, then I'll go back in and wet distress everything. Because if I don't seal it, I mean, I can wet distress this probably for like a week pretty easily and it, the paint will come off and because it'll reactivate with the water. Um, oh yeah, somebody asked us about our floor because she's stripping her stairs. We used real stain number two. But it was a prototype, so it's much lighter than the real stain is now. So if you wanted it to be the same light, like light as our floors, you would just need to water down. That's a great thing with real stain. You can put multiple coats and make it do darker, or if you want to make it lighter, then you just add more water. But, you know, do it a little at a time, test it out until you get the right shade that you want. So when you're mixing it up, though, you want to make sure that you mix it up with the proper amount of water first or else you won't activate all the stuff in there so if you go like so so like let's say you only want to mix up half of it and you figure out the measurements and things and only do half it may not mix up properly that's that's the one catch on the real stain when you get it and you you got to be committed to staining something once you get that mixed up so it's got about a month long shelf life once you mix it so somebody asked about the drop cloths. I like the drop cloths that have the plastic liner on the back. Those are my favorite. But I just buy my drop cloths at Home Depot. I'm sure there's a way better place, but we have a bunch of them. We actually are due for some new ones. <laughs> Ours are getting pretty crusty. They've got a lot of paint on them. <laughs> I feel like they keep the paint off the floor better once they have a lot of paint on them. Though. Well, and once they get a lot of paint on them, they're heavy. So when the wind comes, they don't blow away because they're so heavy, you can <laughs> hardly move them. But you know, they also get heavy and you can hardly move them. Yeah, or they get so heavy and all the powder from the old paint sprays up on your project. So 
there's a few things going on. And that's why we always do like distressed shabby sheets because then it doesn't have to be perfect. My son's room, that if you guys watch the videos that I put up today, he wants no distress. And it was a it was a struggle for me because I think that bed would look a lot better distressed, but I sprayed it nice and neat, sealed it nice and neat, it's very smooth finish. So he likes it. He took a nap in the bed today. When he was supposed to be doing chores. When he was supposed to be cleaning. I think that might be a struggle. He may never leave the well, room. Well, I think I mentioned in the video, I may, we may not be able to get him out of the bed. <laughs> All right, almost done here. I'm only going to do one coat. It's got a little bit of bleed through coming in because this was probably an old wire spool for an electrical company or something. And now it's a clock. I think it's going to be really darling. No, once we get the letters back and I bring those back, it'll look cool. Sorry, you have some grip. That's all right. This thing's, it's going super, it was rustic before, now it's going real rustic. It's going real rustic after. Here, I think this is dry enough over here. I can get a little wet distress. You want to show them wet distressing and then we'll go because I want some pizza. Oh yeah, we got to go before your pizza place closes. Right. Don't look at the dishes in the sink. Don't do it. Oh, Delia, you don't need to tell people I'm getting LASIK. I don't know that I'm getting LASIK. I'm going in on Friday, and I'm going to have my Maybe. I'm going to have my uh, appointment. Oh, Delia, no more okay. commenting or you're grounded. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, back to the wet distressing. Here, let me. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. You're gonna so, shake around a little bit. Somebody said a question real quick. Anything else besides shellac? It's really the only thing I found that works. But I have heard that Zinzerbin oil-based primer works. I just don't like anything oil-based. Okay. Well, that person's gonna go away. All right. So uh, this nine here is pretty dry to the touch. I'm just gonna go. Yes. I think that's what I want. Um, we have a video called Chalk Paint for Beginners. Um, hold on just a second. <laughs> uh, Lori was asking about that, so that will help. We are also working on some ebooks. One of our ebooks is going to be like a whole tutorial, like all the things you need to know, like a cheat sheet in one place. And then our other ebook will probably take us longer. We're actually doing uh, just an autobiography about us. So we're pretty excited about those. Well, what do you guys think? Wet the stress or no? I think it looks good. These other ones are kind of too wet still. I'm gonna take off too much paint. That looks actually really awesome. Good job. So you're a keeper. You know, every now and then I, I do something okay. Not not always. Not always. Most of my ideas are pretty masculine. So that's why I'm excited to be doing Harrington's room. I think we gave prices on a lot of stuff. Maybe we got distracted. This piece will probably be somewhere around fifty to sixty dollars because it's really big and the clock will be functional. We need to figure out how much we pay for it. And then time, so it I believe be it was 15. No, I think it was $12. Okay. Maybe, maybe it was, it might have even been less than that. Here, let me pop this back up so they're not just looking at the clock. Mr. T Man says that's too much distressing for him. Well, that's don't the watch way. our other videos. Yeah, don't look at the <laughs> other videos if that's too much because, man, we go to town on the distressing. Make it look like it came out of the back corner of a barn sitting there for a hundred years. That's the goal. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think we paid more than twelve bucks for this. I'd have to go back and watch the video. It's already been too long. I've slept since then, so I don't remember. But all right, well guys, I think we're going to go. I will finish this all Monday. Gonna let it dry a little bit. I might even come back after we go get Jamie some food and finish distressing. They me. said, do do you use a damp rag? Yes. This is just a Lint like one of those microfiber. microfiber rags. It'll wash out real well. Like I'll go rinse it like a paintbrush once I'm done wet distressing, and the paint will just come right out of it. Yeah, we buy those on Amazon, like huge packs, because we go through them quite frequently, and they're really inexpensive. But we use them for work, and then we also use them for like our house. So if you come to our house 
and you see a washcloth and it's not perfectly clean, it's because it probably previously was used for something else. That's just a work hazard. So if you're wondering how damp this is, I, I wrung it out like pretty much all the way. I can almost not squeeze anything out of it. So it, it's, it's, I mean, if you fling it around, you're not going to get your whole kitchen nasty. It's, it's that dry, I guess you could say. But I got it all wet and then wrung it out real good. But, all right, well, sorry for the sound issues if you guys couldn't hear. Some people could, some people couldn't. We're going to try Jamie's phone next week and see if that does better. Maybe my phone's dying. It's an iPhone 7. Time to get, time to upgrade and get the upgrade. new one. Upgrade! <laughs> um, well, I was going to say something. That's I am why I too. touched you. Oh. But I don't remember what it was. It's oh, somebody asked what kind of pizza I'm going to get. I We like a place that's called Slab. It's around the corner. It's local. And I'm going to get pepperoni pizza with basil on it. That's my favorite. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us tonight, guys. We will be back Monday with a video. We're going to be working on Harrington's room probably Monday, Tuesday. I don't know if we'll get a video up Tuesday. We've got Redrick's football game early in the day on that day. So it's hard to film and edit and get it up in time. But... What are we doing on Tuesday? Football game. Oh, but what are, what were we going to be doing before that? Filming. Oh, yeah. So we're going to be working on it. And then next week we're going to be in Nashville. So. Yeah, the week after that we'll be in Nashville. So we'll try to get some videos done. We might be going live a lot while we're in Nashville because we don't have, like, a backlog of videos. We pretty much do these videos in the morning. This one, less. throw this basket out. You know what I'm going to do? I got your address. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to ship it to you. And then you're going to see it's so cute, you're going to love it. <laughs> All right, guys. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. We do this every Saturday night. Love you guys. Don't forget to hit that notifications button so you don't miss our lives or our new videos. Be sure to go to Jamie Ray's. Oh, one more thing. Don't wait. Wait. Um, okay, so it's 9.13 here. In just under three hours at midnight, our sale ends. If you haven't watched our live video for Wednesday, you might not know about it. The code is YouTube Live, all one word. Odelia, will you put that code in there? Wait. Write that in. YouTube Live, all one word, and you can save 10% on the Sweet Pickens milk paint and the Sweet Pickens bond at jamierayvintage.com. So I can't even talk. Good. At jamierayvintage.com. Other than that, we're good. Love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Oh, not all caps. Why did you put all caps? It's not all caps. Lowercase. Love you.